Hi, my name is Alex, and I have showed you that it's possible to get a data from a PLC and write it on an SQL database, and then access those data through a ERP or even monitor your production remotely. But if you could access those data in your user-friendly interface, and even control your process remotely on the internet, all this in the cloud infrastructure with high availability and security. Got interested? So, come with me. When we visit an industrial plant, we often find several devices from different vendors and manufacturers, each one of them with his own communication protocols and drivers. This could create some difficulties when we need to communicate with these devices, or make them communicate with each other, or simply read data from it. But fortunately, we are living the fourth industrial revolution. Communication and integration are two important pillars of this concept, and therefore we have some options available to solve this problem. I present to you OPC UA, an open platform communication protocol that aims to establish a unified architecture for communications no matter the vendor or operational system. The OPC UA is not that new, released in 2008. It's an evolution of the OPC Classic, developed by Microsoft in 95. With the fourth industrial revolution, this protocol began to grow strength because of some of these features, like universal communication regarding the vendor and data security. It became one of the main protocols for IT and OT integration. It's a client-server protocol and is already present in several devices such as PLCs, sensors and actuators. Another protocol that's becoming more popular nowadays is the MQTT, mostly using IoT applications. This protocol aims the data transfers of many devices to an IT infrastructure and vice versa. It's a pretty efficient protocol in terms of bandwidth. His messages are very compact and can be easily sent in a network with bandwidth limitations. Another key factor of this protocol is the QoS, quality of service, that guarantees the delivery of the message. It's a publisher-subscriber protocol where the publisher is the node responsible for sending the data to publish information. The subscriber node is the node that reads the data. The data is published inside a broker. A broker is a kind of a middleman between the publishers and the subscribers. When a publisher node publishes some data into a broker's topic, all subscriber nodes subscribed to that topic receive that message. A node can be a publisher and also a subscriber at the same time, so he could read the data from a topic and publish another data in another topic as well. But enough talk, let's go to the demonstration. Here we got our digital industrial plant, created using Technomatics plant simulation, which is performing a box sorting operation, sorting boxes by its color. Here we have our main conveyor, receiving three kinds of boxes, green, red and blue. These boxes are sorted to these three to these other three conveyors, one for each color. The whole process is controlled by our PLC. In this case, I'm using S7 1500 Digital Twin PLC SIM Advanced. This PLC is an OPC UA client, and it's communicating with my OPC UA server, developed by me using this application. Now, here's the catch. This OPC UA server is also a MQTT publisher and subscriber, communicating, sending and receiving data 
to a broker created using IBM Cloud Infrastructure, where is also hosted my Node-RED server. With the Node-RED application, I was able to design this dashboard, where I can display information about the production, and even control my production line. So, I'm able to start and stop the production from anywhere with access to the internet, even with my smartphone. I chose the PLC SIM Advanced just for the purpose of this demonstration. This software is not a common PLC simulator, but a digital twin that allows us to establish a communication through Ethernet. In a real application, I could use any device OPC way compatible. It could be a PLC from Siemens, Omron, Mitsubishi, Rockwell or even a simple device such as a sensor or an actuator. This is it folks, I hope you liked the video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe so you won't miss my next video. You can find me at LinkedIn, my profile is in the description. See ya!